Hey guys, and today I'm going to you with another Drupal video. Man, I do like the Drupal videos. Um, this time it's a question from a user, um, which I got via email, and it it says, "I love your videos on YouTube. Those videos on CCK were really helpful. I was wondering whether it is possible to develop a website like Yahoo Answers in Drupal." without any module level programming hope you can help me out thank you well I, I'm gonna answer this question obviously otherwise I wouldn't be doing a video um, and there's many ways to do this the way we're gonna do it, what I call the right way is um, using something called node reference but realize there's always multiple ways to skin a cat in Drupal and there's a little bit of an easier way which is just to create a node which is the question and then have um and then have the answers as comments and restyle the way that comes up a little bit and that is a lot easier to do it it attaches it to nodes and all that stuff it's uh, um, but that's not the way we're going to do it we're going to do something called node references and I get to introduce you guys to a new concept in Drupal. But realise, like, like I just said, realise that there is two schools of thought and this is just one way of doing it. This way does require quite a hefty amount of modules. But I think the results are nice and they're modules that pretty much everybody should have on the site anyway. So if we drag in my Drupal install here, this is my dummy site that I use, um, installed on my local machine. So I've got some content here from the last video, but all, all we're going to do today is um, create Yahoo ans Answers in Drupal. Um, one thing to ask yourself before we even get into the technical goodies is why are you doing this what what would you be able to offer that yahoo answers can't because yahoo answers is going to have a heck of a more power behind it a heck of a more server power and all that stuff and it's going to be way more popular than your drupal site ever is going to be so that's something you have to ask yourself why do you need to do it once you've answered that question which unfortunately I can't help you with then you can get onto this next bit so we're on my Drupal site here I'm just going to go to administer modules and look at the modules I've enabled to do this we're going to use the CCK module and as part of the CCK module we're going to turn on the node reference module that comes with it. We're also going to need views and that that's all we're going to need. Um, they're pretty killer modules that you should, you should have installed on, on your site anyway. So with views installed, what we're going to do is go, go over to content management content types I'm going to add a new content type it's going to be called question and we're just going to call it question For the most part, you can leave all these other uh, drop-down fields def default. I'm gonna I'm gonna turn comments off because I've got comments enabled on my site. Um, so I've just done that. But one thing to pay attention to is in the submission form settings. Now, there's a couple of things you're gonna want. Um, I'm going to admit the body field. So there's no body field, and it's just a title field. I'm gonna have the title as the as the question because 
Really, I don't need a body. I only need one field. I'm going to set a minimum number of characters. Um, and I'm just going to set one character just to be safe. And notice I've renamed the title field. And I'm just going to save that content back. We're also g gonna create a new content type. And this time it's gonna be for the answer. We're gonna call it answer. And we could put a description in and stuff like that. But again, when I turn comments off, um, and for this time we're also going to get rid of the body, because we don't need it, and we're going to call the title Answer. I'm going to save that content type. So we've now got two content types where someone can create a question and where someone can create an answer. Before we go and look at those, what we need to do now is um, use views because the technology we're going to use requires views. So we're going to go to site building, then views. And what we're basically going to do is make a page that's going to list all the questions that have been asked. This is both for usability so that a person can actually find the questions and and for because it's required. So even if, even if you don't show this it's um, required anyway. I'm going to list nodes I'm going to add a page display and the title of that page is just going to be questions I'm going to leave it as unformatted. I need it to be row style fields. I'm going to um, have it use a page because I want it to use all the. Um, I'm not going to set a limit on the amount of things. I'm going to set items to display. As zero for no limit. This is just what I want to do, but I recommend you do it this way as well. Just to make sure there's uh, no conflicts with anything. This um, views interface should be familiar to a lot of you. And now, what we're going to do. is I'm going to say sort it by the creation date or the post date and I'm going to leave the default granularity, it doesn't really matter. So I've got all my defaults set up there. I'm also going to create some fields. 
and they're going to be in my node fields. And remember, I I just want to display the title because um, remember we, we got rid of the body fields, so we're at, we're actually, we're actually going to write the question in into the uh, title field. We're going to link the field to node so the p person can click through. The, this is important for actually getting the answers. And we, we need to set two filters. We need to ensure that the um, node is a type of Um, need to ensure that it's published and that it's and that it's a question we are we only want to show questions and I'm just gonna define a path just to make views happy. And I'm also just gonna um, find a thing to allow allow us to get to the view easier. So we now created a view to list all our all our um, nodes that are our questions that have been submitted. I'm going to save that view. And we've now got all the building blocks that we need. I'm now going to go into the answers content type um, content types and so I'm going to go to um, I'm going to manage fields on the answer content type or whatever you named your content type and I'm going to cre create another field which is going to be the question what that means is the question that this answer is or this node is referencing that's that's where the node reference comes in I'm going to select a field type and it's going to be node reference. We've got a few options here. We can select from the questions that we want to answer. We can do checkboxes or radio buttons, which is what I'm going to do. Well, I'm just going to say it's required and leave. No, I'm not. I want to be able to refer to questions um, and the view that we will select the notes is the questions view that we just created if you follow that that's how that's why we need to create that view so we're going to save those settings okay what we're first going to do and if it was a real site, you, 
you define proper roles for this in your user accounts and stuff like that. But what we're gonna do is first create our question. I'm just gonna say what dog. There's no argument. And then I'm just gonna save that. And then there's our question. What what the person would then do if they saw that question is that they'd come in, create content and then create an answer. Um uh, Rover, let's say, and then we've got a, we we could select if we had multiple questions. They you know we check boxes, but there's only there's only one radio. But now obviously we theme this and use hook form altered to change how this looks. But that's the core of how the user will do it. So you just you just select whatever question you wanted it to be attached to. Um, and then if if we go into our questions view, we see that um, title one. And then if you made an answers view, that that would list all the answers. So we've shown you how to use no reference in this video to create a Yahoo like um, Q and A website in Drupal. This probably isn't the best way to do it since you've seen how much work it takes and Yahoo answers already exist so why recreate it but I thought, I thought I'd just show you. Thanks for watching.